In this video, I'm going to show you how you can crop out a timestamp or a logo from a dash cam footage using DaVinci Resolve. So let's head over to the program. So it doesn't matter whether you're using the studio or the free version as the process is exactly the same. So for this demonstration, I'm on the edit page. You can also use the cut page if you want to. I've also imported my dash cam footage into my media section. So let's give you a quick demonstration. So I'm just going to drag this one to the timeline. And if we look at this video, we can see there's the logo of the dash cam make. There's also the model down here. And on the right hand side, we can see the timestamp. So to get rid of these is quite simple, providing that the logo and the timestamp are not too large. We can just enlarge the picture and crop these out. So once the clip is selected, make sure the inspector is also selected. So click on that so you can see all the details of the video. So under video and the transform, we got the zoom option. So if we increase the zoom, so I'm going to go to the right hand side and I'm going to increase the numbers and you can see the video has been enlarged and the logo and the timestamp has been cropped out. So if I go across this entire video, we can see the timestamp is no longer present. So I'm just going to get rid of that a minute. So I'm going to reset that. So the problem with dash cam footage is because dash cams don't record continuously. So you won't get, say, four or five hours of consistent footage. It usually saves in between one and five minute clips. So you end up with, you know, dozens, if not hundreds of clips on your SD card. So all these clips are from the same SD card. They're all in sync with each other. It's all one continuous journey. So if I drag the other ones to the timeline, so say I wanted, you know, a complete journey from one destination to the other, just drag all the clips that you need and so on. So I've got now got all these clips on my timeline. So I don't want to go around and repeat the same process in every clip. So you can click on a clip, adjust the, the zoom and go again, adjust the zoom. So you don't really want to do that. So what you can do is hold down the left key on your mouse and then simply select all the clips until they turn red. Once they're red, right click again on your touchpad on your mouse. This time select the very top option, which is new compound clip. Then select create. So now you can see that it's created an entire clip from multiple clips. So I go along, this is all one continuous journey with no breaks in it whatsoever. So now I can go back to the video option and this time I can adjust the zoom size. So I just zoom, zoom out until the logo and the timestamps disappeared. So if I go across the entire video, we can now see that the timestamp and the logo is nowhere to be seen. So that's how you can crop out a time uh, timestamp or a logo using DaVinci Resolve. And once you're done, just go to the delivery page and render your video as normal and you should be good to go. So that's it. Thanks for watching.